Checking the adjuster operation. Now, check the function of the brake adjuster to verify proper operation. Fit the box wrench onto the adjustment adapter in a position where it can rotate freely in a clockwise direction during the next steps. Actuate the brake 5 to 10 times. If the adjuster is functioning properly, the box wrench will rotate cyclically clockwise with each actuation of the brake. The more the brake is actuated, the less the tool will move. Note, if the box wrench does not rotate at all, rotates only on the first actuation, or with every actuation rotates backwards and forwards, the adjuster is faulty and the brake caliper needs to be replaced. With the adjuster functioning properly, the brakes can now be adjusted. Using the 10mm six-point box wrench, tighten the adjuster adapter until resistance is felt while rotating the hub. Then, rotate the adjuster adapter three clicks counterclockwise, increasing the clearance. After the brake adjustment procedure, measure the clearance between the pad backs and the pressure fitting. This must be measured with two gauges at the same time over the entire surface of the pad and the pressure fittings. Use 220 mm long feeler gauges for this measurement. The clearance measurement at both pressure fittings must be between 0.6 mm and 1.2 mm. Warning: If the clearance is too large, braking efficiency may be impaired. If the clearance is too small, the brake may overheat and cause further damage. Note, if the clearance difference between the two pressure fittings and pad back is greater than 0.25 mm, the clearance of the caliper guide must be checked for wear. If the clearance of both pressure fittings is greater than 1.2 mm, retest the adjuster function and perform another brake adjustment. If after the adjustment, the clearance measurement is less than 0.6 mm, refer to SAF Holland XL SA40001RM Compressed Air Disc Brake Repair Instruction Manual for troubleshooting options. Before replacing the adjuster cap, apply grease to the seal of the cap. Install the cap in position so the tab is directed away from the brake chamber. In the event of a flanged brake chamber, the cap will still be accessible. If necessary, reinstall the cable guide plate and wear contacts. 